activists in Sudan are calling for an escalation of protests against the coup there. And a Sudanese court has ordered the detention of the heads of the country's three telecommunications companies until internet services are restored. All after the deadliest day so far, according to medics, in a month of demonstrations. Medics aligned with the protest movement said at least 15 people were killed on Wednesday as security forces dispersed protests in Khartoum and other cities with gunfire and tear gas. Witnesses said mobile phone communications were also cut. Sudanese police said 89 officers were wounded. They recorded one civilian death and 30 cases of civilians choking on tear gas. The protesters, marching against an October 25th coup, demanded a full handover to civilian authorities and for the leaders of the coup to be put on trial. They were heard chanting, the people are stronger and retreat is impossible. The coup upended a power-sharing arrangement between the military and civilian groups put in place in 2019 after the toppling of long-ruling autocrat Omar al-Bashir. Protesters described the behaviour of police on Wednesday as more aggressive than in the past. It's the latest sign that the military is looking to entrench its position.